The peace treaty of Hudaybiyah was the first treaty between the Muslims and Quraysh. Sadness was apparent on the companions after accepting the terms of this treaty. The Muslims returned to Medina that year, heartbroken and without performing Umrah. After this treaty, the Prophet prepared with his companions and organized an army to conquer Khaybar. The Jews knew about the Prophet, approaching Khaybar with his army, so they barricaded themselves in their forts and sought help from Ghatafan, who supported them against the Prophet, peace be upon him. ما ظننتم أن يخرجوا وظنوا أنهم مانعتهم حصونهم من الله فأتاهم الله من حيث لم يحتسبوا فأتاهم الله من حيث لم يحتسبوا وقذف في قلوبهم الرعب يخربون بيوتهم بأيديهم وأيدي المؤمنين فاعتبروا يا أولي الأبصار ولولا أن كتب الله عليهم الجلاء لعذبهم في الدنيا ولهم في الآخرة عذاب النار ذلك بأنهم شاقوا الله ورسوله ومن يشاق الله فإن الله شديد العقاب Allah's Messenger commanded us to stay the night between Khaybar and Ghadafan. Yes, Allah's Messenger selected Raji to cut Khaybar off from Ghadafan's aid. A wise decision, O Messenger of Allah. After a severe siege on the Jews of Khaybar, the Prophet, peace be upon him, decided to send a group of the army to open one of the fortresses. He sent Abu Bakr, may Allah be pleased with him to one of the Khyber fortresses. Abu Bakr fought and then returned, exhausted from the intensity of the battle. Then the Prophet sent Omar, may Allah be pleased with him, to fight, and he too returned exhausted from the intensity of the battle. The Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, said, Tomorrow I will give the flag to a man whom Allah and his Messenger love, and who loves Allah and his Messenger, and through whom Allah will grant us victory. Every man that night wished he was the one to receive the flag. The Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, asked about Ali, son of Abi Talib. May Allah be pleased with him. His eyes became inflamed. The Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, asked him what was wrong. Ali replied, My eyes are infected, O Messenger of Allah. The Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, wiped his hand over Ali's eye, and it was cured by the permission of Allah. He then said, Take the flag and march with it until Allah grants you victory. Ali took the flag and ran with it until he reached the pile of rocks under the fortress. What do you want, woman? And what are you carrying? I want to meet Abba al Qasim. I have a gift for him. Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, permitted her to enter and asked her to introduce herself. I am a simple woman, O Abu al Qasim. I made a gift for you myself, and I hope you will accept it from me. The Prophet, peace be upon him, accepted the gift, then called some men, such as Bish, son of Al Bara, son of Ma'rur, to share the gift with Allah's Messenger. Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, started eating the shoulder. He took a bite, but he didn't like it. So he spat it out. As for Bish, he took a bite and swallowed it. Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, stopped the others from eating. What happened, O oh, Allah's Messenger? The Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, replied that the arm was telling him that it was poisoned. By Allah who honored you, I felt it, but I couldn't spit it out, fearing that I might disgust you. Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, got deeply saddened and ordered his men to bring Zainab, daughter of Al Harith. Allah's Messenger tells her that the sheep she gifted him is poisonous. Who told you? 
The Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, said, This arm told me. He pointed to the arm that he had eaten from. The Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, asked her what made her do it. I wanted to know if you were lying. If you were, then we would be rid of you. And if you were a prophet, then you would know that the sheep was poisoned. That's all. وَإِذْ يَمْكُرُ بِكَ الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا لِيُثْبِتُوكَ أَوْ يَقْتُلُوكَ أَوْ يُخْرِجُوكَ وَيَمْكُرُونَ وَيَمْكُرُ اللَّهُ وَاللَّهُ خَيْرُ الْمَاكِرِينَ Allah's Messenger asks, What do you think I'm going to do to you? وَمَا أَرْسَلْنَاكَ إِلَّا رَحْمَةً لِلْعَالَمِينَ O Messenger of Allah, I have believed that you are the Messenger of Allah. So do with me as you please. Do with me as you please. Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, forgave her. Ali, son of Abi Talib, may Allah be pleased with him, went with the army and began to conquer the forts of Khaybar until Allah granted victory through him. And the Jews were defeated and the Muslims' determination and strength increased. Their joy was complete when the Prophet, peace be upon him, gave them permission to go to Mecca to perform Umrah after the Treaty of Hudaybiyya. O oh, Muslims, good news! Allah's Messenger commanded to have everything ready for Umrah to go to Mecca. He also stressed that those who were prevented from going last year should join him. Allah, Allah is, is great! great. Allah, Allah is, is great! great. Muhammad and his followers are not discouraged after the events of Hudaybiya. Oh, Muhammad's cunning. He knows full well that we will not allow him out this year. He came to try to provoke and anger us by seeing him succumbulate the Kaaba. But he also knows that he can't stay for more than three days. He will be forced to get out of it. I know his stubbornness and pride. He will refuse to go out. Then we will expel him and gloat over his defeat. Quraysh had learned of the Muslims' condition of hunger and weakness at that time and decided to exploit it by attacking the Muslims when they entered Mecca with their wealth and strength. The Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, knew of their intentions. Quraysh had learned of the Muslims' condition of hunger and weakness at that time and decided to exploit it by attacking the Muslims when they entered Mecca with their wealth and strength. The Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, knew of their intentions. O oh, believers, the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, has commanded us to show strength and power in performing the rituals of Umrah and never to show weakness. By the gods, they are not as we have known them, O oh man. They entered Mecca with their heads held high, showing no weakness or fatigue. They performed their rituals with great strength, running and throwing stones. Their voices shake the heavens. Yes, indeed. A man among them appears as strong as a thousand men who do not tire or feel weak. Even after the exhaustion of travel, by Allah and al uzza I cannot bear to look at them. And I will leave Mecca and not return until they have departed. I will not stay in a place where Muhammad and his followers boast and do as they please. Let us go far away from them until they leave. The Messenger of Allah and those with him performed the makeup Umrah and stayed for three nights. And on the fourth night, the Quraysh gathered to discuss the matter thinking that the Messenger of Allah would break his promise and stay in Mecca. The Messenger of Allah had complied with the conditions of the Quraysh for his entry into Mecca, entering without weapons and not staying for more than three nights. The Prophet peace be upon him returned to Medina and did not stop sending missions to invite people to Islam. وَأَوْفُوا بِعَهْدِ اللَّهِ إِذَا عَاهَدْتُمْ وَلَا تَنْقُضُوا الْأَيْمَانَ بَعْدَ تَوْكِيدِهَا وَقَدْ جَعَلْتُمُ اللَّهَ عَلَيْكُمْ كَفِيلًا إِنَّ اللَّهَ يَعْلَمُ مَا تَفْعَلُونَ